Well, it's not every day you see one of the most powerful men in the world get glitter bombed while speaking about economic stimulus policies. But that's exactly what happened today in Frankfurt when European Central Bank President Mario Draghi took to the podium. Annette Weisbach was there. That was most likely the most eventful press conference of Mario Draghi. Just minutes into him reading the introductory statement, an activist from a, a feminist group, allegedly Feynman, just got up and uh, started to throw paper and confetti over him. And of course, she had to be escorted outside the building. The big question mark, of course, lingering around the fact, how could she actually enter the building? And the answer most likely lies in, in the fact that it's very easy to get a press card in, in the Eurozone in Germany. And with a press card, you can have access to the ECB. But switching to monetary policy now, Mario Draghi has actually not, not said anything very new. He's quite optimistic about the outlook for the economy, but saying that is hinging on the ECB implementing quantitative easing until at least September 2016. Only if inflation were to pick up a lot faster than expected, then the ECB could stop the program earlier than September 2016. Also, he rebuffed criticism that perhaps there's not enough bonds out there for them to buy because a lot of bonds here in the Eurozone trading with negative yields. And the ECB has said early on that they're not going to buy anything with negative yields lower than the deposit rate, which is currently at minus 20 basis points. But for now, things look pretty much relaxed. Next time we get the new staff projections from the ECB, that will be interesting because then we also get an understanding how really optimistic they are of the economic future here in the Eurozone, looking above all at the lower Euro exchange rate, which is of course helping the Eurozone. For Nightly Business Report, Annette Weisbach in Frankfurt.